Hello. This DEEK training video details logging in to the cluster from a Windows desktop using the PuTTY application. As a user, the only way to access DEEK cluster resources is through our head nodes, which you can learn more about in our head node component tutorial. The only way to connect to our head nodes is with the Secure Shell Protocol, or SSH for short. To establish an SSH connection, we recommend using an open source application called PuTTY, which can be downloaded for free. Do this by loading a web browser and navigating to www.putty.org. Follow the links on their website to arrive at the download page. From there, click the putty.exe link to download the SSH client to your desktop. This is a standalone executable with no additional installation or supplement files. Once downloaded, load PuTTY to get connected. With PuTTY now open, you will see a basic window with three panes an options pane on the left, connections pane on the top right, and saved session pane on the bottom right. Before starting, we recommend changing some default settings in the Options pane. Click the Window header to change lines of scroll back to 2000. For convenient browsing of output and command history, this will allow you to scroll up and view what you previously entered. Expand SSH under the Connection header and click X11 to check the Enable X11 Forwarding checkbox. This will allow the use of GUIs, if ever desired, to be loaded from our head nodes in the future. Feel free to explore other options PuTTY offers, such as auto logging and display options. With your settings changed, click on the session header at the top of the options pane, and then highlight default settings under the bottom right pane. Once highlighted, click the Save button to ensure these settings will be applied for all future connections. To connect to the cluster, enter the name of the desired head node in the host name field. rel 6 head 2deekwfuedu in this case. Ensure your connection is set to SSH with the fourth radio button selected. To save this session and connect more quickly in the future, re-enter the host name under the Saved Sessions field. Once entered, click the Save button. We recommend doing this for all of our head nodes for your convenience in the future. You can start your connection by highlighting the saved entry, clicking the Load button, and then the Open button, or simply by double-clicking the desired save session name. To log in, enter your DEEK cluster username and hit Enter. Then type your cluster password. Note that the cursor will not move as you enter your password for security reasons. And that's it! You are now logged in to the DEEK cluster. One thing to note while using PuTTY is that by highlighting text in the window pane, it automatically copies what is highlighted to the Windows clipboard. By right-clicking, it pastes whatever you have copied into the command line interface. This can be a great tool to use, but be careful when pasting. Once you are ready to log out, you can hit Control D, type Exit, Log Out, or simply click the X button in the upper right corner. This concludes the cluster login with PuTTY Deke training video. You should now know how to install and configure PuTTY and establish an SSH connection to our head nodes. 
please send any questions or comments via email to deke-help at wfu.edu. Thank you.